a crime alert for the capital region. Scammers posing as bank investigators seem to be targeting local seniors. They've already stolen nearly $20,000, and police now are hoping to hunt them down before they strike again. Brandon Lewis is live in our newsroom tonight. Brandon, you talked to one of the women who was ripped off. She told you these guys knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, Dory, not only do they know exactly what they were doing, but they also knew a lot of her personal information, and they used that to create a false sense of trust, convincing her to withdraw thousands from her account as part of a phony sting operation against a dirty teller. Tonight, police told her not to go on camera because it could compromise the investigation, but detectives want the public on alert. Last Tuesday, a man posing as an investigator with Trusco Bank called an 81-year-old woman and claimed he was investigating a teller at this bank on Madison Avenue. She says she's usually suspicious of these calls, but he knew so much about her and her banking information, she was convinced he was legit and decided to help by withdrawing money from her account to catch the supposed bad teller. The victim then walked two blocks to South Main Avenue, where she met with a second investigator and handed over more than $6,000. She was told she'd get the money back a few days later, but they decided they weren't done with her that. Six hours after that call, they received, she received another call from the same suspect telling her that she had done such a great job in that investigation that they needed her assistance and uh, the investigation of a teller up on Wolf Road at the Trusco Bank. Once again, she went into the bank, this time withdrawing nearly $5,000 from what the scammer said was a teller under investigation. She then went across the street and turned over the money in the parking lot of Colony Center. The phony investigators then told her they'd meet her a few days later at the bank in Albany to return the money and never showed. She's not alone either. The same thing happened to a Bank of America customer in Colony, in that case, the scammers also had very detailed information. What's scary is that they did have her home phone number and some personal information. Uh, both uh, victims, this, this woman and the other victim, were both elderly. Ours is 81 years old. The town of Colony victim is 91 years old. Um, so obviously, you know, there's concern there. Now, police don't have a very detailed description of these two men, but it seems they are targeting seniors, and they're reminding people to be suspicious of any unusual phone calls and say banks never use customers as part of undercover operations. Live in the news from Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.